Good morning, NLC Live. My name is Maya Ramos. My husband and I get to pastor the Spanish service here at our Conway campus. I also get to do some really fun admin stuff. Cue the music. All right, so today we are going to be reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verse 25. I'm reading from the NLT version. All right, verse 25 says, But when you're praying, first forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Pretty straightforward verse. Here we see our command to obey. First it's assuming we're praying. Praying people, right? When we pray that we first need to forgive people that we're holding a grudge against. That's probably the hardest part, right? <laughs> so we need to go, when we go to God in prayer, we need to forgive other people. We need to ask God for the strength. You might think, there's no way I can forgive this person. But it's crazy how when we go take that to God, He's going to give us the strength we need to forgive that person. He's also going to give us maybe understanding of why that situation happened or why that person acted that way towards you. And he's going to give you the heart and the eyes to see that person the way that he does and ultimately allow you to walk out that forgiveness in your day-to-day -day life. So our command to obey, we got to forgive people when we pray. we got to take that burden to God. Our sin to avoid is unforgiveness. We know that when we go to God and we don't forgive people, we don't ask God to help us forgive these people that unforgiveness is going to build up in our heart and then we're going to get bitter and bitterness is just going to take root and the thing about bitterness is it doesn't just stay in that one area so if you're not forgiving someone for something it's it's going to flow out into your other areas next thing you know you're snapping at your kids your husband is acting right and uh, you just have all that bitterness that's just flowing out in your day to day life and so the sin to avoid is unforgiveness but with that a promise to claim here right at the end it says so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too so when we forgive people when we go to God and say God help me forgive this person it's I can't even imagine forgiving them but help me do it that with that he's gonna forgive our sins too and he's gonna heal you from that unforgiveness as well so promise to claim the forgiveness that we extend towards others is going to be given right back to us. An application to make here is to remember when we pray, it's not all about asking God for this or that. God, help me with my job. God, help my marriage. Help my kids. They're crazy sometimes. No, but we need to not just ask, but we go to God and we say, God, I really need to forgive this person. My heart's hurt. My feelings are hurt. I don't really want to forgive them, if I'm being honest, but I need you to help me forgive them. And so when we obey that command, we're going to avoid the sin of unforgiveness. We're going to claim the promise of getting forgiveness given back to us in our lives. And ultimately, we're going to be healed and avoid any kind of bitterness that can take root in our heart. That is Mark 11, verse 25. I hope that encourages somebody today. Let me pray with you before we go. God, I thank you for everyone watching this video. God, I pray if there's anyone who is having trouble forgiving someone, God, if there's a situation in their life where they just, it's hard to even talk about God, much less forgive that person. I pray that just they can find a time alone with you today and that you can just help them navigate forgiveness and walk that out in their day-to-day -day life. God, bless the group of people watching this video and everything that, they, everything that they put their hands to today. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. See ya.
I will. Good morning, NLC Live. My name, okay, I'm gonna wait. 